HIV testing is very important, and the kinds of tests that someone can do have changed over the years. The earliest test we had for HIV developed in April of 1985. It was a very simple test. It's called the ELISA, and it tests for antibodies. Way back when, it had a fairly high false positive rate, so you needed to do follow-up testing, something called a Western blot. Uh, and it wasn't anywhere near as sensitive as the tests we have today, which are now called fourth-generation testing. In fourth-generation testing, we test not only with much more highly sensitive ELISAs for the antibody itself, but we also test for a piece of the AIDS virus itself, called the antigen. Um, the uh, antigen we test for is the internal part of the virus, the core of the virus, it's known as P24. And by a combination of those two tests, you can be very, very much certain that if those are negative, that you're not HIV infected within about three to four weeks. Now, if you have a very high risk exposure, uh, and in certain situations, such as a needle stick with someone who's known to be HIV positive, we can actually try to get an indication much earlier than three to four weeks with the antigen and the antibody test, and that is doing something called NAT, N-A-T, for nucleic acid testing, where we actually test for part of the genetic material of the virus itself. And that test can be a, a positive as early as two days after an HIV infection. Uh, we usually say about seven days, and it's pretty reliable. Now, there are also oral tests. There's some people that are just deathly afraid of needles. You can do a home kit test. You can actually go into a pharmacy and buy a home testing kit, an oral swab, and swab yourself and put it into a, a little packet and mail it into the company, uh, and they'll give you information. Now, I prefer going to a doctor's office directly or a public health clinic because of the fact that when the results come back, it'd be much better if you're HIV negative to get counseling about, this is wonderful, but let's not go back to the anxiety you had getting this test. Let's work on measures to not have you need this test again. And if you're HIV positive, to me to say, you're HIV positive and this is what we're gonna do about it.